Hello, let's talk about Antonio Van Veig being linked with Kaiser Chiefs. And this is coming from a more reputable source from Ipagati. And there's also some talk from Itisky Times because they contacted his agent to find out more about this situation. We're also going to talk about Tumfundo Vilagazi, his promotion to the senior team. But we're also going to talk about the other player who might be getting promoted pretty soon. Now, let's start with Antonio Van Veig because this is... It's interesting, but sometimes it makes me laugh when I think about the amount of players from Stellenbosch who have been linked with, with Kaiser Chiefs. Because we've established this, Aba Landili, the Kaiser Chiefs fans, we also sign players on social media. We also just look at Van Rooyen and say, oh, he would be good at Chiefs. We look at the left back and say, huh, it would be good. People look at Ikram Reina and say, huh, it would be good. Soon enough, people will be wanting Umacheke who left the Chiefs because he wasn't getting game time and then got signed by Stellenbosch and now they are developing him again. So these things happen. We've seen it with Abum Tanzani. Anyone who's at Stellenbosch <laughs> has a possibility of ending up playing for the Chiefs. But that's not to say why Antonio Van Veek is a bad player because he's still only 21, right? He's still only 21. This season he has played 13 games. He has scored two goals and he has also created two assists. Now... This is the Sunday time reporting that KZ Chiefs have been, or Ipagati, should I just call them Pagati for simplicity sakes. So they're saying that E Chiefs have been monitoring him, right? But then it is key time because they have to verify if these things are true. They call the agent, E agent, yeah, I think Lance David, yes, it is Lance David. And then Lance David says, uh, the man still has a contract with Stellenbosch and it's running until. He still has a year in his contract, which I can only assume that it's not ending next year, January 2025, but rather June 2025. So that basically means Stellenbosch still have a lot of time with him. And I don't think he's going to leave Stellenbosch right now for anyone, really, because I think he still needs to develop his football. And thinking about Stellenbosch, they are a decent side in developing the talent of young players who are up and coming. So... I do think that if this thing ends up happening, I don't think it's going to happen this year or maybe next year. But then if they wait for next year, you know what's going to happen. Stellan Bosch are obviously going to extend his contract. But let me ask you before we talk about him too. Do you actually think that it makes sense for Ichims to be going after Ulanste Uu Antonio Van Veek? Would he be a good addition to Ichims? Because we know he is a good player, like no lies, no lies. He's a right winger. You can also play him as a as an attacking midfielder. You can play him on the other wing as well. He's a very, very good talent. Uh, but now, would he be a good addition? And if they sign him, right, is it or does it make any sense for them to sign him now? Because as the party reported, they didn't say Chiefs want to sign him now. They are just monitoring him. That's what they said. And his agent very confirms would know. No one has said anything because, as Pagati said, he is being monitored, not necessarily being approached to be signed. So I want to hear from you. Now, Mfundo Vilagazi has been promoted to the senior team. After that Culling Cup uh, game, but Vela, I'm sure it was on the cards, and the boy has already expressed the fact that he wants to be in the senior team. And I've always made my, 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 my thoughts clear and very, like, said this thing, Guti. I believe that Nfundo Vilagazi is a very good player. And at Kaiser Chiefs, we will either you play him as a 10 or you play him as a right winger. He can come in and make a huge difference. Problem is, that I have right now, is that we are very good these days at making good players look average. So the problem that I, I have right now with rushing him into starting games for the senior team is the fact that he might then end up looking average, which is not, which is not because Funo Villagas is brilliant. Everyone knows this. And look at the team that he was playing with in that Culling knockout uh, All-Stars game. He was very brilliant. He was allowed to do his things. But at the same time, when he had to dribble someone, was dribbling someone because there was a reason to do that. And also he scored a goal. I'm sure that helped. So uh, I do think that Funo Villagas is a really brilliant player. He's a good talent. But him being in the senior team when the game is nil-nil and we are looking at him to come and rescue us, I don't think that's that's a good idea right now. Uh, what's also not a good idea is for you to watch this video this long and not like it or, or, or subscribe. And also, 
Uh, what do you think when upon Fundo Vinagas before we talk about the next player? Do you think that they should just throw him at the end of the pool? Do you think it's good enough? Do you think well, equality act is not a doubt. It's like by no you cannot doubt what he is good. I'm just saying, do you think that would not affect him given how the team has been playing? Right? So Ning Chelik my comments. Speaking of youngsters being promoted to the senior team, this one was another player who was linked with being promoted beginning of the season, but it ended up not happening. And then they refused to be ball boys, and at the end of the day, they were suspended, but now they are back. I'm, of course, talking about Utona Jansen, another very, very good player, a winger this time around. And what I like about him, you know, wingers who can score. I love wingers who can score because... Ooh, that means the goals are then shared in the team. It's not just going to be, oh, we want Ranga to score, or we're expecting one of the fours to score. But if another winger chips in with two, three goals, like what Mod is doing this season, and then midfielders come up with goals as well. Because now Utona Jansen did refuse to be ball boy, and they were suspended. He has saved his time. And unlike the other two boys, Upuso Titeja and Nomtaga, Bona, they are still at Kaiser Chiefs or oh, 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 And so I am wondering, Uguti, very obviously the other ones who ended up being released are the ones who apparently did more or, or, or what were committed a bigger sin. But these ones who were kept were could, could be forgiven. So I wonder if that's because they were looking at him and thinking, oh yeah, this boy is one for the future. But then again, Uti and Nomtago also wants for the future, especially in their positions because you don't get a, a lot of left backs. Just right now, we need a left back and we've released Umtag. I'm not saying that was a bad decision. I think that was a very good decision. But in the manje, how long until Utona Jansen gets promoted to Chiefs? Because when you look at our right wing, it's like they don't trust Upotsane. Utol is injured a lot. So we do need our reinforcements in, 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 in wing positions and to just add competition and to have the boy around to show them good hey, he's coming. Look at what we Barcelona, we are mal is done to Abo Ferran Torres, Nabo Nabo, Nabo why am I am I forgetting no Rafina La Pop Barcelona? Rafina was very good coming from Leeds. Man who says when you saw scheming in Ganena sixteen. So that's why I argument you would fund of could be ready, could come in because you can have a younger player who's more hungry or who's hungry, yeah, comes in and takes the position from the established player. So let me know in the comment section if you think both Mfundo Vilagazi and Dona Jansen are ready to be starters in the senior team. Or not to just be starters, but to also be players that we can rely on, right? Because for me right now, being Safuna, Abu Mfundo, back totally in confidence by being given about 15 minutes, 20 minutes when the team is winning but not to come in when the team is losing and to solve problems and to create and score goals. But if you think that's the case, then check like my comments. Now, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoya.